Apple earlier this week unveiled the all-new iOS 11 beta preview, which will lead to the final build that probably might release this September. The company has promised hundreds of new improvements and refinements. Starting off the user interface, the iOS 11 brings subtle design changes to the interface elements throughout the operating system. The text are bolder, apps like calculator and phone have a new look, along with the lock screen and control center have been entirely redesigned. On the very first hands-on, you get to know that both the notifications and your lock screen has been merged, which actually is a bit confusing. I personally feel that this isn't a good idea. It's going to take a lot of time for us to get used to it. Because when you're at the lock screen, you get to see all the notifications that appeared when your phone was locked. But when you swipe up, you'll be greeted with your previous notifications with lots of swiping to do. On the home screen, you get to see that the dock has shrunk a bit for better screen space. But I'm really not sure of this idea, because the names of the folder made better sense. And yes, the one unique thing about the iOS has been changed to the traditional Android style signal bars. I actually felt that the circular design was a lot more beautiful than this. The iOS 11 has faced a lot of changes. Siri gets a new makeover after a very long time now. The text is bigger and this time, Siri tends to shoot multiple answers than just one. There is another major step taken by the UX designers. The volume bar is made sleekier and doesn't cover up the center of the screen, which I definitely feel is a very good decision. This was one of the highly requested changes because who likes an ugly looking box in the middle of the screen while watching a video? And the one important update is the completely redesigned control center. The interface tends to take up the complete screen. This expanded view gives better information and options and also the 3D touch feature works over the toggle icons. The iOS 11 also lets you to do screen recording, but you have to take few steps to trigger the icon onto the control center menu. You can also then edit and share the screen recording just as any other video stored on your iOS device. This will surely come in handy for many users. Now talking about dark, there's something super exciting about the all new iOS 11. This was something that Android was taking pride over for a very long time. Even though it's not as good as in the Android devices, the smart inward colors is something that is the closest to dark mode yet. To switch to dark mode, you need to go to accessibility shortcut and switch on smart inward colors. Now all you have to do is to triple click on your home button. More than just design perspective, the dark mode was mainly introduced to help save your eyesight and for better readability. The dark mode dims the overall screen and changes certain colors to make it less abrasive on your eyesight. It's same as the invert color settings on your iOS 10, which was specifically made for colorblind, but the only difference was it didn't have color wrapping. Apple this time has used deep learning to integrate NLP in a better way with Siri. It gets a major makeover with its voice, with better pronunciation and multilingual capabilities. Siri also gets new translation features in which it will take the help of Google to translate the things you tell her in English into Chinese, Spanish, French, German and Italian. And also the company has promised to add more languages in the future. Siri is using on-device learning to understand more about your preferences. It majorly works like adaptive learning, where Siri tries to learn your basic preferences on your day-to-day -day use, thereby leading to a prediction of what you might need next. Among the plenty of makeover, even the Apple Maps gets a place in this revolution. I must say it has improved a lot since its disastrous debut. Though it wasn't quite as robust as Google Maps, but this fact might change in iOS 11. Because the new update comes with features like lane assist, speed limit and a do not disturb while driving mode. You also get a beautiful car like layout on clicking a markup on the map with the complete information about that place. For the first time in 9 years history of Apple, they have finally redesigned its App Store. The iOS 11 gives a brand new refreshing interface to the App Store. The store features a new app of the day, game of the day and daily list with the best apps currently available for users to download. The redesign makes the app icons fit in a better way. It kind of borrows the design aesthetics of Apple Music and definitely a lot of cleaning has done and the interface is well optimized for better usage. Now talking about camera, the app has been updated to support high efficiency video coding. This means that it supports up to two times better compression. But the best part is that you wouldn't be losing video quality. This format will shrink the size of photos and videos up to 50%, which will actually save a lot of storage space on your device. 
these are just a bunch of updates that we talked about. But Apple is effectively working towards adding more features in its further build. And also since the update to iOS 11, I did notice several artifacts in many places and also my device has considerably slowed down. But I feel it's totally worth the shot. Either way, thanks for watching. Yours truly Droid Sector, Arsali the Slide.